What's going on, Speed Squad? Connor Speed Six here, back from the squeaky chair behind the Logitech G920. Uh, hey, we're back on Dirt Rally 2.0 today. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in and watching the video. What I wanted to do is uh, is really just hop back in a different car uh, and, and a different rally stage and see how I do. Uh, again, as you guys know, I don't have much practice on Dirt Rally 2.0, let alone on the wheel on Dirt Rally 2.0. So uh, this is always fun. Uh, it ends up being uh, a little sketchy, uh, some wrecking, of course. Uh, I do have um, a, a little bit of practice on this route that we're going to do today in the same car. Only two different runs, one in the wet, one in the dry. I did choose the dry because it's a little bit easier to drive. I fully anticipate on quite a few wrecks, maybe a roll, and possibly going down into a ravine or a river. Uh, yeah, what we're going to do is take on... One of the routes in New Zealand, the Ocean Beach Sprint, uh, it's the forward run. Uh, they, have, they typically have a, a regular and then a reverse run on these. I am going to do dry because I, uh, I, really, don't, I really don't want to uh, deal with the, the wet again. That was not very much fun. It was fun, but it was extremely difficult. Uh, we are going to drive the Ford Fiesta R5 car. It's an all-wheel drive vehicle, uh, manual sequential gearbox, 280 brake horsepower. Uh, or a 1600 cc engine. It's extremely fun to drive. Uh, it's tight, or it's sorry, it's little, it's nimble, it's quick, uh, and it handles pretty darn well. Uh, so we're gonna hop in this car, see how I do. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a, quite a few restarts, so uh, we'll get it going and see what happens. Yeah, uh, again, I don't have an e-brake, um, and I'm not used to the actual shifter yet, the H pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue in uh, the, the paddle shifters and the sequential. Uh, I'm not going to do any changes to the car. It's not got any adjustments to the tune or anything like that. We are just going to send it. Uh, I will be using the B button for e-brake, which you will see me use a little bit because it helps the car uh, sort of rotate into the corner a little bit so I can get the power down. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, so uh, I do have a PB set of 4 minutes 48 seconds, which is 40 seconds slower than the world record. Uh, so here we go. Let's see how this goes. All right. Nice. So let's try that again. Ford Fiesta R5. Bend it on the first quarter, on the first attempt. Uh, that's okay. We're going to make this a little bit better. Tap of the e-brake. Nice, simple movements on the wheel. Nothing too major. Don't want to over exert the wheel. This is so sketchy right here. You've got a huge drop off on either side of that. It's like you want to slide the car, but it's really just not safe. Come on, rotate in. All right, this is a little bit of a longer stage. Over four minutes. Uh, it's not super long, of course. There are plenty of opportunities for me to wreck. Oh, that drop off on the right or on the left there. So sketchy. I'm so hesitant to just like fully power the car through these corners because I'm just not used to it and I'm not very good at this game yet. Get in. Let's go. Okay, that wasn't bad. Don't cut on a hairpin. Okay. Yeah. Oh, don't cut. Don't go wide either. Holy cow. That was scary. Oh, I wonder where that drop off over the hill goes to. I would assume the ocean. I love these stages because it is beautiful. You got beautiful uh, setting in the backdrop of the ocean. Oh, that through gate. Oh, nice and easy. I need a better setup, y'all. The camera is like right in the middle of the screen here. Oh, OK. 
got so much focus and I'm it's all for naught because I'm not doing worth a damn. Alright, let's get it. Off the crest. Easy now. Easy now. Come on now. Focus. As long as I'm putting in PB sectors, I'm okay. Downshifted to second, unfortunately. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, not bad. I think I cut when I really shouldn't have, but it's okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys hear a lot of background noise. Again, the squeaky chair, the wheel stand, the wheel, the Logitech G920 is so loud, unfortunately. I'm not having a ton of feedback noise right now from it, but it's still loud. Huge shout out to GTR Technical as well for the wheel setup video. Uh, I had a wheel setup. Uh, I checked another couple wheel setup videos and used some of those. Uh, but the the, the brake pedal, uh, I just continuously locked up. Uh, so huge shout out to GTR Technical for the wheel setup. I'm going to have a link to that video uh, down in the description. That way, if you guys need any type of help setting up the wheel, uh, you can reference that. He is very, very, very fast at this game. I believe he uses a G29 because he's on PC. Oh, no, no, tree. Okay, I'm alive. Sorry, I'm going to focus here. Yeah, so uh, check check the description below for the link. Okay, I'm not doing so bad. Oh. Woo! Okay. What was that? Eight seconds? Oh, only four seconds faster. I thought I was so much better. Oh. Oh, man, that was really fun. Uh, I really love this game. I'm really, I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't get started on it a little bit earlier. Uh, again, I've only had the wheel for like six or eight months, but still, you know, I should have been all over this game whenever it came out. Uh, it's so much fun. I love the game. I love the feeling of it. I love it on the wheel. It's so much fun. Uh, I found myself preferring to do just rally stages rather than rally cross because if it's just so technically difficult uh, and, and requires like 110% of your attention. Uh, so that's kind of why I was quiet through a lot of the run there. So I, I do apologize for the lack of commentary at times. But as you can see, uh, I was still sucking it up pretty, pretty uh, decently. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really fun. I love it. Uh, I really hope you guys had fun with this. Uh, let me know if you guys like these types of videos in the comment section below. Uh, would you rather just see gameplay of me just playing with maybe a wheel cam or do you like me uh, doing the live commentary? You know, again, I want to try new things all the time. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, please leave the video a like. Please be sure to leave me a positive comment. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, it really, really means a lot to me. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing, uh, but it really helps me out. So. Uh, I genuinely appreciate you guys being here. Uh, also, GTR Technicals videos in the description below for the wheel the, the wheel setup. Be sure to go over and support him as well. Uh, big thanks to him and everyone else in the Dirt community for, for all that. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Uh, again, I appreciate you being here. Uh, I am Connor Speed 6. Until next time, much love, everyone. See you soon. Bye.